Let's take it to our guest, Wells Fargo senior economist Mark Vintner. Look who's back. It's Marcus here. Mark, what's your reaction to this headline? Well, <laughs> you know, Paul Krugman's not exactly the president's best friend. I mean, and so, you know, he's kind of preaching to the choir there on the editorial page of the New York Times. I, I, I don't think it's good for the economy. Unfortunately, I think impeachment is here to stay. Um, if they impeach Donald Trump, it'll be the second time in the last three presidents that have been impeached. And I think it'll be the new normal. I think two out of the next three will be impeached. I, I think that it just it's just a sign of the divided government, the, the division that we're seeing in society. It's not just here in the United States. It's all over the world. Wait a second. And, and you're saying, OK, we've gone from gridlock to now you're saying impeachment will be the new, new normal? Because to your point, right. The farm belt, the agricultural belt, the manufacturing belt, they're all saying that impeachment related delays in trade deals, it's going to hurt their businesses and jobs. And, you know, they're saying they're going to blame Congress. I mean, Hillary Vaughn is saying, our reporter is saying that Democrat Richard Neal said NAFTA 2.0 will move ahead. He met with Robert Lighthizer. But you're saying this is the new normal impeachment, one step beyond gridlock? I, I really think so. I think these games are, are here to stay because, I, I mean, I mean, look at with, with Trump. I mean, the impeachment started after he won the election, the day after he won the election. I mean, it's pretty much it's been nonstop ever since. But I, I do think some things are going to get done. I think the USMCA will probably get done. It's not a it, it's not a huge lift for Congress to get that done. I think there'll be some agreements on the budget and they're going to push out. So they're not going to let the government shut down. Um, at least not uh, for the foreseeable yeah. future, but they, so there's gonna, they're going to get some stuff done, but it's, it's going to be hard to do big things. It's going to be harder to get a big deal with China. It's hard to say, I mean, is China going to say, well, well wait a minute, maybe we can wait Trump out, or are they going to be more inclined to say, hey, you know, maybe we can strike a deal and get something constructive done in the very near term. You know, and he can make yeah. a good case either way. You know, Citigroup out with a warning that the 2020 Democrats push to shut down the U.S. fossil fuel industry would trigger at least a two and a half year recession, even longer, crush the very states that Democrats need to win. Uh, when does your hair go on fire, Mark? What's left of it? I'm teasing. <laughs> well, so when what's do you left start, of it? <laughs> I'm teasing you. I teased you. I, I, that was a joke. Mark, now listen. When do you start saying, hey, wait a second, this is now getting into danger territory? Is it when Trump's approval starts dropping toward 35, 30, and then you say, ooh, that means he could lose? And then you worry well, about the Senate loot going Democrat as well and all these policies I, getting rolled back? I think back? the most important thing to look at is, is looking at that Republican support. And in the first half of September, uh, the Gallup poll had it at 91 percent. And I know that it'll probably come off because the, the poll's only done every two weeks. So the next next poll will be looking at the snapshot of the last half of September, which will be taken, you know, right right about now. So um, it's probably going to come down a little bit. But I but I, I think it's, it's it's likely to hold up because this talk is nothing new. And and as people take a look at the transcript and they yeah, take, okay. a, take a look at the complaint, it's all out there for them. Okay. But I, you're right about the fossil fuel industry. I mean, that would be a real loss to, yeah. to the U.S. economy. Mark, you're at our kitchen table. That means next time you get to come back and tease me. Great to see you, Mark Vittner. Thank you so much. Great to be with you.